Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan, and today I have a stationary haul for you. And I'm noticing that I hear a cricket in the background. <laughs> so please ignore the cricket that I cannot find in my craft room to dispose of it. So he's just going to be our little background music for today. <laughs> um, all right, so I had, my birthday was last week, and um, I, yeah, I asked for stationary <laughs> items. Uh, I got so many different things that I'm, I'm really excited to try. I wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, I love to watch stationary hauls just to kind of see the different um, things that people get, and I just like to see what people, what people enjoy. Um, all right, I think I'm going to start with this over here I'm gonna just try to make a little organized pile here all right the first thing I got was this uh, pencil pouch thing and I have this uh, same one in lavender and I wanted the black just so that it was more neutral but it's out of here okay um, and it uh, has a zippered opening here so it opens like this it will fit Tombow markers, um, and I got a set of those here so you can see how well they fit into this. Uh, these are kind of hard sometimes to fit into different uh, pencil pouches because they're so long. So you've got the inside pouch here to put pens or whatever kind of stationary items you want to put in there, sticky notes, um, correction tape, and then you've got the front pocket here as well. So, and it's very slim, which I like, uh, that you can just pop it into your, um, like your planner bag, but it will, it also, um, will fit nicely, like into your purse, if you wanted to put it in, in your purse and maybe carry other items in it. Uh, I think you could probably, I think my phone would fit down in there, probably, if you wanted to put your phone in there. Anyway, lots of different items or different ideas that you could, um, use this for. The other thing I wanted to say too is I will have all of this linked below uh, in the description box for you. So, all right. And this I'm super excited about. <laughs> I uh, saw somebody post this, I think it was in the Hovenichi, the main Facebook group. And it's this glitter rainbow cover sized for the Hovenichi cousin or A5 Stalogy and I had to grab it. I thought it was so pretty. So when I, well, grab it, I had to put it on my list um, for my, what I wanted for my birthday. And all this stuff actually, um, let's see, this came from Amazon. This did, a, a lot of it came from Amazon. Um, a few of the items I think people got like at Michael's or whatever. Um, but anyway, I'll have, I'll have everything linked below for you in my Amazon list because I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that you can get all of these on Amazon. I'm not sure. I have to look for this brush pen set, but I think it. I think this one's on Amazon too. Anyway, I'll have it all linked below for you. So I saw this in the Facebook group and I knew I had to have it. It's a texture. So this is like a cover on cover. If you're familiar with Hobonichi uh, cover on covers that they make, this is very similar and it came with it. Um, it's definitely uh cheaper than Hobonichi than the one that comes from Hobonichi but um it's still it's still pretty good quality the cover itself is a textured glitter but I could see uh it wearing like with use or whatever on the corners so I think it's probably smart to have the cover on it at all times it came with this notebook in here which I wasn't expecting that either take it out here and it's just yep a plain white notebook it has lines do two different sections there pretty nice actually I mean it's kind of a yellowish uh, tone of paper it's kind of coming across more white on the screen than it is in in person but uh, yeah not too bad I'm sure I can find a use for that so it came with that and then I have my planner here. So I thought I would go ahead and sneak it in there to see how it fits. 
I haven't done this yet, so hopefully it fits. <laughs> no, I saw somebody um, had their Hobonichi cousin in there, so, and it fit perfectly. Oh yeah, it's gonna fit really well. There we go. And then you can, of course, put the front flap in there if you wanted to as well. So you can kind of see how that fits. Fits really well, actually. Um, it still has room for your tabs there. You got the two pen loops here that you can use um, if you wanted to, but yeah, so there you go. Fits really well. Love it. And I told <laughs> when my daughter, my daughter is 16, and when she saw me open this on my birthday, she was like, okay, are you 13? And I'm like, well, maybe. <laughs> because it's pink, glitter, rainbow, all the things. Love it. Really pretty. Okay, so there's that. All right. Next thing is this set of... Uh, Tombow dual brush pens, and I wanted a set of more of the fall tones just because we're coming into that time of the year. And um, yeah, so I was really, I have um, the neutral set. My daughter has more of the Tombows than I do. I'm gonna open this real quick. All right, and just to show you the packaging, this is the Muted Palette is the name of this one. So I thought I would just go ahead, I brought my little swatch book with me and this is just a dot grid notebook from Villa Beautiful uh, that I use to pen test different pens that I have. I don't know if, I don't, I don't think I've ever shown this on my Instagram or anywhere, so it's gonna that. All right, so I think I'm just kind of thinking I'm going to do a quick little pen test for you. Uh, all right, so this one is number 757. Sorry about the cricket. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's that time of year. That's a really pretty cranberry red color, kind of a maroon color. Uh, this is number 947. Ooh, that's pretty. What did I say, 947. This is number 837. Ooh, that's pretty. That's actually more cranberry, probably. That's more of a maroon. This is 528. Zero two six. I was really curious about this color. Ooh, that is pretty. That's like the perfect mustard color. What did I say? Zero two six. Wow, that's really pretty. I didn't know because the lid kind of makes it look green. But six seven nine. Ooh, that's pretty. Definitely not as purple. I was thinking more of the eggplant color, but it's really more of a super dark, dusty purple. Six, seven, nine. And then 098. Ooh, pretty. Nine six nine. 
is just a basic gray. I think I might have this one already. N35. I think this one came in my neutrals palette. And then you've got, of course, the water one for blending. So there you go. Those are really pretty. Wow. Perfect for fall. All right, so that is the Muted palette from Tombow. All right, then the next thing I got, the Papermate Flare Bold Tip. So I have um, a collection of Papermate Flares from my kids and I really have been loving using them in my spreads, just my weekly, um, weekly spreads. I'm gonna open this real quick. Here are those, and I will go ahead and do, I don't think I have room on my page from before when I did the Papermate Flare Medium, yeah. So let's go ahead and, and here's where I did the Papermate Flare, the candy pop color. So open to here. Ooh, that's definitely bold. Okay, let's see what we have here. Ooh, that's hard to write with. But like if you were doing um, any sort of like highlighting or um, you could use these to make dots for like um, checklists. Definitely not like for writing though. Well, for me anyway. Next, I got some Versamagic ink pads. This is the chalk ink. And I wanted these to be able to use in my Hobonichi Cousin and the um, or in my Weeks as well for stamps that I have uh, kind of accumulated. And you have to kind of be careful with the Tomoe River paper because it will bleed through uh, and it will smear. So this ink, like what I had been using will smear is what I mean. <laughs> this ink uh, actually people had recommended to use on the Tomoe River paper uh, for a really nice finish and dries quickly and doesn't bleed through. So I just got, I'm not sure which set this, what the name of this is, but it has a brown, green, like a, it's called pumpkin spice. So like a dark orange, dark yellow kind of color, and then eggplant. So really pretty. And then I got a black one as well. Can't wait to use those. Uh, and then I got a set of washi this one, this is from Amazon, and I wanted, I had a set last year that was fall uh, themed, and I loved it. I used it all, um, and so I needed a new one. I just wanted something different, so I liked that this had the three um, just plain washies. Then it has, it says, uh, Happy Thanksgiving on this one. Sorry, my big fingers are getting in the way. Happy Thanksgiving, and then just pumpkin. This plaid is uh, sunflower, and then this plaid is really pretty too. Oh, this is cute. These are little garden gnomes. And then Happy Fall it has uh, mushrooms and flowers, and then a leaf, two of the leaf patterns. So I thought that was really cute and something kind of different than what I what I had last year. So that was kind of what I was looking for. And then the next thing I have, uh, these are all pens. Uh, this jet stream, uni jet stream pencil. I have the pink one and you guys have seen me use that in my uh, Stalogy last year uh, to do my spreads and different things, but I use that pencil so much and I wanted um, a black one that I could put uh, in my purse to kind of carry with me. So this is a four in one. It has red, black, green, and blue ink, and then a pencil. These are amazing, by far my favorite uh, mechanical pencil 
and very similar. I, I actually, I think that the pen that comes in the Hobonichi, like the freebie pen that they send, is the same one too, uh, except it doesn't have the pencil. So if you're familiar with that, that's that's basically what this one is too. All right, and then I got, like I said, I got three different packages of pens. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open these because the packaging is kind of obscuring the pens here. All right, get these open. I am so excited about these, you guys. These are color changing pens from Sarasa, the 0.5 tip. And you can kind of see the different colors of ink in there. And then it comes with this cute little notepad, which is adorable. Sticky notes, actually. So, like that. All right. So, let's go ahead and play with these a minute here. Because I I saw these on Amazon. I, I don't know. Like, Amazon just knows me. <laughs> so, I saw them on Amazon, and I had to put them on my list. Because they are just too cute. All right. Let's do... Um... Sharpie. I think let's go ahead and do them on this page here. I don't want to waste too many pages. Okay, so this is the pink one. These, these are called Zebra Sarasa Clip. So I'm going to write that up here. Okay, so you can kind of see it changing. I'm just gonna put pink down since it's the color of the tip there. And so far it's just going kind of between pink and like an orange color. So obviously the more that you write with it, I'll kind of show you the barrel, the ink in there that you can see. There we go. So it's got all those different colors in there and then it just changes as you write. These might be my new favorites. If you watched my Hobonichi haul uh, that I put up, uh, let's see, last week, um, I got a pencil that also changes colors and I'm really excited about that as well. Okay, so this one you can see this is the orange one, and you can kind of see how it goes from yellow to orange and then green. Oh, these are so cool. And yeah, it's probably something that a 13-year-old would like, but you know what? I like them, and I'm going to use them. <laughs> this one is the yellow one, and it's really hard to see on camera. Kind of yellowish to green, almost like a fluorescent color. I gotta get them going before they really start writing, but that's the green color. And then here's the purple. Oh, yes. Look at that. That is so cool. Purple and pink and blue all mixed together. Oh, those are too fun. I am so glad I got those. I'm gonna, yeah, definitely be using those. All right. Next thing I got here, I got these uh, Sarasa Dry. So I have the Sarasa Vintage and I was using them in my cousin on the Tamoy River paper, they tend to smear. So I was reading in the Hobonichi group that if you get the dry, let me get this open here get rid of that glare. So if you do the dry, they're supposed to not smear as much. I mean, I think you need to be careful with any type of ink to kind of let it dry, but these are supposed to be a little bit better than just the regular Sarasa. And then I got the 0.7 um, point on these, so they're the medium. So I definitely cannot wait to try those in my cousin. All right, and then the last one. So these uh, Pentel RSVP are my absolute favorite pen to use like whenever I'm writing anything. 
and I went ahead and got the medium point. So this is a 1.0 um, tip and I wanted to give them a try. I have the 0.5 and I think I got a 0.7 in the black um, and I like those, but I wanted to try the medium point on these as well. So uh, these are really fun. It's just got a black, red, blue, green, orange, pink, turquoise, and purple. So those should be really fun. All right, that is gonna wrap up my stationery haul, my birthday stationery haul. Let me know if you have any questions. Like I said, I'll have everything linked below for you, but if you have any questions, definitely you know, don't hesitate to ask. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye.